So I'm in my car right now and I'm on the way to the shops to buy some new makeup products because I will be copying Leah Holton, the TikTok famous popular girl who did like, you know, these roads of flames are catching a fire. I'm gonna be copying her makeup tutorial and seeing if I can go viral too. I've gotta find this like freckle pen so I can like draw all freckles on myself. But I just realized I got 10 kilometers until my tank broke down and like it, cause I'm out of petrol. That's actually so bad. It's never been this slow. Oh gosh, it's gonna, the car's gonna break down. I don't think I'm gonna make it to the nearest petrol station because it's, it's a while away. Good news! We made it! I got myself a slushy. $1.50 for this is like absolutely crazy. It's honestly the best thing ever. Can't beat 7 Eleven raspberry slushies, they're so good. So I'm here at the shops. I'm just gonna get drugstore makeup because. Whoa, look at all this nice stuff. I'm trying to look for something similar to the Shout Out to the Reef filter. And do you reckon this will be close enough? And we also need to find like a pink highlight and like a freckle pencil. Okay, we're gonna need a lip scrub as well. And she also used this exact concealer, so I feel like this is gonna be perfect, but what shade do I get it in? So blushes were really important when it came to Leah's makeup tutorial, because I've had a quick look just so I know like what I need to get by. But yeah, we need a liquid blush and a cream blush. I've been looking for a pink highlighter, and I think I found it. So I've got everything, I'm excited to show you everything I've got, and I think we're getting now this challenge. I've actually had a quick look at what the tutorial is, and it's very different to what I normally do. And I wanna ask you, what's like your normal makeup tutorial? Like what products do you like to use? What? Do they the keys? No. I've got them. Have you had a good day so far? This day has just been a bit all our sorts. We're moving soon, so it's just, it's a lot. But I'm really excited to move. And I know I say this every single vlog, but it is very exciting when you know, you get to know, you know you're gonna start like a new chapter in your life and it's like, it's gonna happen. But it's just like the fact that like, it's actually here and it's not like, you know, like a, a year away or like a couple of months away, like it's actually gonna happen. And I'm so excited, but it's gonna be a massive change. As you know, I'm the oldest of six, I normally film with a sibling, but today I'm like kind of filming by myself. It's just like it's a lot, and it's like very like a little bit awkward. But I normally do these sort of vlogs, but like it's been a while since I filmed a vlog like fully by myself. So it's just like it's big. Like it's not big because like you know, but still, I just want this vlog to be good. This is like our eighth year of doing YouTube, so it's been a long, long time since I was like 12. We're, I'm really lucky that like, you know, people have chosen to stay with me for so long because because I meet ladies and they say, I've been watching since like 2017 or 2019 or 2018. You're like, how have you stayed around for that long? Like, that's so nice. But even the people who are new, like I want to hope, I hope that you feel like welcome and you can join the legend community at any time. Or you can like join it and then leave for a bit and then come back and everyone will still like accept you in it. Anyways, I'm going to get back home and then we're gonna start this makeup tutorial and let's hope that it works anyways my skin's looking pretty clear today i've got all my makeup here and i'm about to do it but first i want to show you what i've learned guitar because i'm proud of myself i want someone to watch me i wonder how this makeup tutorial is actually gonna go you know how i was talking about how i've got an ingrown toenail i think i'm just gonna have to get the surgery for it which involves needles in my toes i don't want to do that because i'm scared of needles in my toes but i'm gonna have to do it because otherwise my toes is gonna be Messed up for the rest of my life. I wish I was born with a bed nose and normal toe. That's what I wish. So excuse my faces when I'm playing because I always go like this. It's my concentrating face. I would love to play in a band one day. That'd be sick. I've gotten Papa over here to help me. Cause heart tuning. Fun fact: Papa used to own a band. <laughs> What's a famous riff that you can play? Uh, maybe Sweet Child of Mine, if I can remember. Oh, yeah. Oh, rusty as. <laughs> hey, ho, let's go. Hey, ho, let's go. Hey, ho, let's go. Like down here, I see like so many people do it. I'm like, I need to have like on the high scene, like all the way like up here. Now here's a song that Papa couldn't play. I'm gonna play it. Now that I'm playing, I forgot like all the songs that I can play. That one's pretty cool. I tried to straighten it so I look more like Leah, but you know, because I've got curly hair, I don't think it's physically possible for me to straighten my own hair. Maybe someone else could do it, but like I just can't do it myself. Another song by Corn. I 
I just want you to know, I think you're looking very beautiful today. <laughs> because a lot of people like don't have my music taste and you know because I, I love talking about like you know the musicians I listen to and it's yet to say I haven't found a person who listens to the same bands that I listen to and it's annoying because when I see someone who's wearing like a band tee of a band that I listen to I'm really excited because I think like they listen to the band and they say like oh I just like the, the design of the top and it's just like oh no so it looks like I'm trying to catch him out but like I'm really not <laughs> Like trying to be like nice to someone, but then like you kind of end up being mean to them, accidentally. Oh no, I was gonna play you a really good song that I just learned. That's so impressive, but I can't because the top string is broken. Me when I see a cute boy walk by. So if there's any songs that you want me to learn next, let me know. I'm actually really excited to get into this. Let's hope this works. I'm not sure if it will, but yeah. Will we go Tito Viral with Tito Viral makeup? I mean, this makeup look has gotten 40 million likes, I think. Something crazy. And actually, the girl who went viral is actually Ozzy. I did a little TikTok and I don't know what happened, but it popped off. Good news. And that's what we want to have to be. Today I'll be doing my most highly requested makeup for you guys. So the first step is priming. I bought this, so yeah. People say that this one's really nice. You know, I don't want to be annoying, but I feel like drugstore makeup's like better than makeup because it's so expensive. I'm not really gonna drop like a hundred dollars on a foundation where like I could just like get it for like twenty bucks. So I got a little bit of fake hair on my hands. It's kind of embarrassing because I play guitar and go to the gym. I've got all calluses on my hands, so hands are very callous, and like for some reason the fake tan just like really like. It's so hard to get out of those spots. So yeah, it's just very embarrassing. So, you know, don't tell anyone. Next step is eyebrows. I used this Luff Up Brow Wax. I Lots of her products are quite expensive, so I need to get the same thing. I got this. This is like 10 bucks. So I feel like I can never tell when someone has an Australian accent, but maybe that's just because I'm Australian and don't recognize the accent. And there's some blokes in Australia who have like full on Aussie accents. What are you doing, mate? Like, you can't be leaving the scene. And he goes, don't be a hero, mate. But like, Never really nice to go with a full on Aussie accent. Just gonna slap the brows on. Next step is this Hollywood Lawless filter. This is actually incredible. Like ever since I've started using this, I've really gone back to anything else. And on your neck, even though it does take only one minute to blend, make sure you do blend it properly. I've never used anything like this. And this is basically a light coverage foundation. This is not actually the shout out to a blurry flawless filter because the real thing is like a lot of money, like 60 to 80 bucks. This one's like 20. So I got the shade medium. So I'm guessing this is... This is the wrong shade. That does not match my skin. It should be, I'm pretty sure like once we blend it, it'll be fine enough. Maybe I'll like blend it up to my neck, it won't look too bad. Maybe I should have just gone the whole way and got the actual Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. Okay, so for concealer, I clearly love this concealer. I bought the same concealer as her. I can't look at it if I like gold, gold nails or not because they, they look like good and they match all like gold jewelry and stuff but then they also look like rotten. And these are like the placements that I always put my concealer. Does that look similar to how she does it? I'm really getting how this is gonna work. I never put my concealer here on my forehead but maybe I should. That is actually quite nice concealer. And feel free to follow along with me. Like if you wanna do this part for your makeup tutorial, like let's do it together. Like, actually, you should do it right now. Like let's do something fun. Let's both do it together and see if it works and looks any good. Okay, so my base is looking 
quite smooth. I leave it like 90% blended out, but around the edges, I don't blend it out fully. I stuff that up, I've already blended it all out. I used to blend it out perfectly and then put my creams on. And I would just have to apply more concealer to make it perfect again. But it's like, why would I go through all of that blending and making it perfect when I'm gonna go and add more concealer? I've been using this Fenty bronzer for a very long time. So the thing is, I don't have a cream bronzer, but I do have a cream contour. Pretty much the same thing, they're both brown liquids. So I just put that around like the perimeters of my face, so my forehead and my cheeks and my jaw. I'm gonna put in like these little spots and that should be enough, I reckon. Actually, I have been gua sha or whatever it's called lately, and I think it does work. Like I feel like my jaw like is getting sharper because I thought like this is bull crap, like as if it's gonna work. It actually does. I haven't done a makeup tutorial since I like copied Madison's line in like this video. And I remember in that video I felt like so insecure next to her. But now, I don't know, I kind of I kind of like my face a lot more. Like obviously I don't think I'm like that pretty. And I wouldn't say like my beauty is like one of my best parts of me, but I think I'm okay. I put them on my eyelids. So she puts them like on the eyelids? On top tip of my nose. I don't put anything underneath. I used to make that mistake of putting my bronzer on the base of my nose. But I feel like they can make it look bigger. That's a game changer. I always put on the boil of my, of my nose whenever I'm trying to like contour my nose. And I'm sure that most people know, but I absolutely hate my nose. Like I want to like it because like it is different, but I just, it really ruins my face and I don't like it. I always do put it like down here because I feel like it lifts the nose, but maybe it doesn't. Maybe you're meant to put it like here, like Leah said to. Hmm. Did that make a difference or is it still like big? I think it made a difference, but it's okay. Blush. As you can see, I have never used the powder blush, but I love the cream blush. It just blends so beautifully. So this is going to be the closest thing I have to a cream blush. He, he. This is another product that will ride with me till the end of time. It is the Givenchy Chrisme Libre. I didn't buy a Givenchy powder, but I do have a powder. And it is kind of pink like the one she's got. I use, normally use a banana powder, which is yellow. And it's meant to brighten, but maybe pink is the way it goes. And then I'm just going from the side of my nose to the outer corner of my eye and pat it in. Sorry, I get cross-eyed whenever I blend. This is my 10 year old, it's got buns, contour palette, and I will just go over everywhere that I put down the cream contour. I'm not sure exactly what she's doing, but she's brown powder on her face, I'm just gonna use my NARS bronzer. Always going with this one, the coral. In NARS shade, you you know this shade. This on top of the coral, and I. She does her blush really well, she uses two different shades, so I'm gonna use two different shades as well. I love big fluffy brushes. This is my favorite thing like in this world. It looks so cool. Look at me, my big fluffy brush. Oh my God, my eyebrows look very unsymmetrical. With fake freckles. So I love to grab my painted palette. So she's making fake freckles, which are actually a massive part of the makeup tutorial. The thing is, I don't really have anything for fake freckles because it was really hard to find in the shops. But what I was gonna do is I was gonna do this. I grab this palette. I was gonna find uh, like a brown that kind of could count as a freckle on my skin. I'm gonna lick the brush and then just put the tip of it into the creating dots. Now I try to like mimic the natural contour of my nose without making it look so. Yeah, this is not working actually. I'm just gonna do like little freckles like everywhere. You see the little freckles I've drawn? Like not the massive ones on my nose, but just like the little ones like that. Like they kind of look alright. I'm going to go back in with the powder puff. There's nothing on this, so I'm just gonna pat. It's just so big, these two. They're just so massive. Okay. I can't like that. I've never been a fan of fake freckles for some reason. Maybe it's because I can't do them. It's looking pretty good. Are you going all right over there? I think you're going pretty well, actually. This is my favorite setting spray. Very generously, as you can see. So it looks like we put a heap of this on, then blow dry our face, and then I must set everything so it looks like, you know, it lasts all day. And this makeup feels good because it's not too cakey. It doesn't feel like you're going to feel like all crusty by the end of the day. So we're going to just put a heap on. Really nice. It feels like it's setting the makeup. Okay, it's actually hit my eyes. That's messed up my hair. One last step of the face makeup. And it is highlighter. This is from Mecca Cosmetica, which is like a Sephora in Australia. Because I'm Australian, I relate to that. Look how beautiful this highlighter is. I guess. That looks like adding a decent glow. It gives you more of that like glass skin look. 
highlighter that I have for like my inner corners and my nose and all that. We're going to use that really, really white shade in the corner of our eyes. So I think like what we do is we do it here. Something like that. Oh god, it looks amazing in real life. Gosh. Nice. Love a brown. Love a brown eyeliner. But what I like to do is only put eyeliner on the outer half of my eye. This is the main part of the look. And she doesn't really go into heaps of detail with this part, but... Um, the main thing is the shape of the eyeliner. Like lots of people do different shapes of eyeliner and what she's got is a really thin long one compared to what, like lots of people do a thicker shorter one. I don't know how this is gonna go. So that's the shade. This is the part we need to get right because this is the main part of the makeup look. This is so, oh, I'm stressed about this part. <laughs> draw across the lash line right here. Did that work? I feel like it's too thick. Like, if I, Go over it too many times. I'm gonna make a mistake. Then I'm gonna do it like I'm gonna have to reapply the whole thing because I'm gonna ruin it. So we're just gonna like keep it like that. So I use this little Kylie Cosmetics lip liner in the shade Kylie. This is a gorgeous brown lip liner. And so I've got my brown lip pencil here, and I feel like lips are one of the most important things in a makeup tutorial. So I'm so excited that I finally get done. I need to buy a new one. It's not too dark in the way in which it would look like really unnatural. Oh god, this is a dark shade. Now that my lips are lined. Hello Talk, which is like a pinky color, but it's not too pink. I think this shade's a bit dark, though. I have the same lip liner, but it's in a different shade. Look for that day, but that's literally it. I didn't use all that many products compared to what I usually do. I think my lips ruined the look. Lip makeup's so annoying because it, like, it comes off like very, very like soon after you apply it. So you have to keep reapplying it all day. So it looks like at the end of this makeup look, we've got to do some sexy poses. I don't think I look very good when I'm trying to pose for some reason, and I've never have been ever since I was a little kid. I don't know if I'm like photogenic anyway. God. Okay, okay. That's how the makeup ended up. See if this makeup look is gonna make me go. TikTok viral. So I've hopped into my dad's really nice car. 781 million views. <gasps> the music's not available. No, 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 no. I did just do all this for nothing. Oh God, the glitter's a bit much. Oh my God, my eyebrow looks really weird. <sighs> Far out, why didn't I realize this the whole time? Mm, I think I want to look as pretty as her, but like I need to know, like I just need to look pretty for me. You know what I mean? I wonder if it will go viral. Do you reckon it could go viral? I don't think it will. But it could. Thanks for hanging out with me. Catch you, Knuckles.